All right, it's oyster rose season and the Charleston shop curator Andrea Serrano is here and she also brings Athen Focas to answer that hard question, what to wear to one of these things, specifically at the big oyster festival that's next weekend. Welcome guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so what inspired you to do this? Every Friday we love that you pick different topics, yeah. but Oyster Fests are like all over this time of year. Yeah, right? it's such a huge part of like the social scene in Charleston during the winter months. And I think that, you know, a lot of people are like, how do I prepare myself? What do I bring? What do mm -hmm. I wear? So we'll we'll get back, we'll get into yeah. that a little bit later, but um, the Low Country Oyster Fest is what the largest oyster fest in the world? That's right. It's I the didn't largest know that. in the world here in Charleston. We have it at Boone Hall Plantation. It's a week from this Sunday on January the 28th. Okay. It's a huge event for all, all types of families, um, kids as well. We have a huge kids area. And um, purchase your tickets online at 1750. Um, or $25 a day of the event. Um, you said how many people come to this? We'll have 8,000 to 10,000 people there. Wow, and the oysters are local, and where else do Because we, locally, we can't even feed that many people, Literally right? Can. So you so, have to bring in some So we're bringing 80,000 pounds of oysters <laughs> in the Chesapeake Bay selects, and we have locals as well. And lots of food from other restaurants. So there's plenty to eat there if you don't um, like oysters. Yeah, so even if oysters aren't your thing, there's plenty to do. We were talking quickly during the break. You know, it's 8,000 people, traffic gets crowded, but you said you fixed it this year. It's going to be much easier. Well, we've hired a parking company that really right. knows what they're doing. So they, they, they shuffle the people in, in three different entrances. So um, we, we have it all figured out now where things go much smoother. Okay, well, we can't wait for next weekend. We got to see what the temperatures are going to do, but you're here to kind of help style us. Yeah. And the first thing is a cool local company that you bring in that mm -hmm. has oyster accessories. Yeah, so oysters all around kind of, I feel like started this trend of using oysters as accessories mm -hmm. and, you know, little dishes. You can put your jewelry in there. And so Jan and Ellie started this uh, fall of 2016 and they were just two friends that met at the Charleston Women's Club. Okay. And they're also volunteers there in the Charleston Waterkeeper. And they just, you know, they work full time, which is incredible. Um, Jan is, um, a counselor at a couple of military, uh, military counselor for kids at a couple of elementary schools and Ellie uh, works at Ceteris. And so this is kind of like their side hustle. And so they figured out a way to create all these accessories with oysters that paint them with the gold um, paint. And then they design these fun little, you know. That one says shuck it. Pieces of artwork <laughs> that you can Be frame. Be careful when you say that out loud. <laughs> these are keychains, which is great. So if you go to the Oyster Fest and you don't want to bring a bag, you just put your keys on there so and loop cute. it through your. And I feel like living in Charleston, this is something we need. It's yeah. It's like an oyster accessory, right? And you always, I mean, Definitely having an oyster shucker will get you yeah. ahead. Athens, should you bring your own shucker or do you guys? We, we sell them there as well, but you okay. can bring your own. You we can have bring many people own. that bring in select oyster shuckers. And I have one that I use every year that somebody bought Is it your lucky, me. Your lucky lucky shucker? Yeah, I'm really fast. <laughs> there is an oyster eating, um, oyster shucking contest and an oyster eating contest. So bring your oyster knife and do the oyster eating contest. We can't wait. Contest. And then you got to figure <laughs> out what to wear, what the temperature is going to be. It's probably yes. cooler usually. Mm -hmm. But also like you want to be comfortable because like you're working, right? Yeah, it's yeah. To get him so like you something you can maybe get a little down and dirty in. So what, what do you have for us? So um, we have a look here from M. Dumas. You know, they've been around on King Street for over 100 years, family owned. And, you know, it's about layers because it could be really cold in the morning. And then you mm -hmm. want to just kind of peel it off as you go along. So um, Jonathan over here is wearing a vest by Barber. And uh, this is just a great British brand who's, they've been around forever for over 100 years. It's very heritage. It's got deep pockets, so you can put your car keys in there. Um, the shirt is by Fairty, and they've got a great selection of that at M. Dumas. It's just a really cool, um, kind of California cool brand, but it's based out of New York. Super soft clothes, um, and some jeans by Citizens of Humanity. And they have a great selection of shoes, too. They carry New Balance and Todd's and everything from casual sneakers to dressy shoes. So. We just, I love this look on Jonathan. He looks cool and effortless and he's ready to shuck. He is ready to shuck. I mean, the pockets, you can keep his own shucker in there. Yeah. Ready to go. That looks and classic with the M. Dumas and Sons. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong. So there we have the guy look mm -hmm. and then let's move on to the ladies. What should we wear? That's always a big question for us. So we walk with familiar <laughs> face back. Liz Martin from, uh, she's a Charleston Weekender and she also owns Cannonboro Collective. Actually where I discovered Charleston's 
uh, oysters all around. And so you can definitely find a lot of their stuff at her store in Canonboro. <laughs> I and love the t-shirt. Yeah, how cute is that from oysters all around? Um, and a lot of people don't know this, but MG Moss actually carries a really good selection of women's barber jackets and vests. Yeah. So she's wearing a barber jacket and it's um, wax coated, which is great. So if it's a little rainy or if you're spilling that oyster juice or hot sauce, you kind of could just wipe it off and it won't stain or anything. Again, the deep pockets, which we love. The bag is from MG Moss as well. That's a Filson bag. and. You you, um, you've got to be kind of utilitarian when you're dressing and preparing for a day like this. Yeah. And then we've got the cute little tassel keychain by Oysters All Around. There you go. She's ready to go. And the barber jacket, again, is it's like one of those things you buy once and you'll wear every season for years and years to come. Exactly. And I um, heard or I oh, watched that a special. handsome couple? Oh. <laughs> There's man, Gus. My man, Gus. <laughs> and so I love the outdoor look. It just kind of carries you to so many different events here in Charleston. Yeah. Um, M. Dumas, like I mentioned before, has been around forever. Um, they're going to be part of Seaweed, Charleston Fashion Week, so they're a big part of the community. We love it. You guys look good. Thanks for being here. Jonathan especially loves this. <laughs> <laughs> He's a natural. <laughs> He's a natural. Athen, thank you for being here as well. Do you have any uh, points or tips when it comes to like shucking? We have a lot of people that are new in town that have never shucked an oyster. Like any tidbits of advice before we go? Well, you go to the back of the oyster and just pry it open. So it's pretty okay. easy. And we'll teach you. We have so many people on hand that know what they're doing and then yeah. we'll teach you how to do With everything. With 8,000 people, someone next mm -hmm. to you can probably help out. Oh, for sure. Thank you guys so much <laughs> for being here. And as always, Andrea brought a